when last we left our uh, quote unquote heroes, the GM was had, a faggot. They had just finished surviving uh, an ordeal at the fucking festival. Now shut up because before I turn into a crabby party. Anyway, yeah, I That's went there. That's my secret. I'm always a Krabby Patty. <laughs> How does that even make sense, bro? Reference. It does! <laughs> References to Avengers. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, a day has passed. The city is still in mourning for those that died. Everybody's trying to... I repair the wall and uh, pick up the debris and remove the corpses. You know, basically clean up the mess that happened. So the city has been uh, more busy than it's been like uh, in quite a while. And uh, you can see that the mood uh, in the entire city has completely changed. Until just recently, people were very calm and relaxed inside the city walls. They were getting more or less accustomed to life inside the city. Now things are not so great. The populace is very scared. They're unsure about the future. And while before they were complaining about taxes and such towards the people governing the city, now they're, with, uh, they're accepting uh, taxes and such, even the raises with open arms, because they feel unprotected and unsafe. And basically, uh, the guys in charge are right now increasing taxes to make, uh, under the pretext that they're gonna like have to repair the city and such. But those are matters that do not concern you. You were more interested in being heroes. And as you've heard after what happened, I mean, uh, I mean uh, amidst um, all the bullshit and the negativity, there's actually talk about heroism in the city. Unfortunately, though, it's not about yours. What? I killed a giant worm! I had butted it! It wasn't a giant worm. No, you could have uh, you could have tentacle tentacle picture. Mm. You yeah. stopped Japanese culture. Apparently, apparently your heroism got kind of uh, shadowed by somebody else's. While you were busy at the festival, the rest of the city was also getting attacked. And since yeah. most of the guards were centered around the festival, the rest of the city was pretty much undefended. And the, and then a lone hero rose. A man which nobody knows for some fucking reason because he de doesn't stand out much. Drama. With a blade, a swordsman who was uh, busy all day long protecting people and slaying monsters all over town. There, the the more you hear about him, the legend just keeps getting bigger and bigger. He slayed 200 monsters. No, 500. I hear he slayed 10 monsters with one swing. He killed a monster only by looking at it. And it goes, uh, it gets more crazy and more crazy. While people acknowledge what you did and from time to time, like, say, like, good job and stuff like that, they're all, like, uh, completely infatuated with the man who had protected the entire city by himself. Fuck this guy! <laughs> I'm gonna wreck him! <laughs> also, uh, O'Sullivan, I take it you've been reading the books you had access to in the library? Duh! You don't have to be such an asshole, you know? A simple yes would have sufficed. It's his well, thing, you said, though. You said O'Sullivan, you didn't say Patty. O'Sullivan's an asshole. Yes. That's your excuse? Fuck you! It's not an excuse, it's a, it's a valid reason. But he's an asshole anyway, how would I know the difference? <laughs> Same goes to you. Shut up. <laughs> You're all so mean to me. I'll punish you later. I mean, uh, never mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, so yeah, what you learn about the books, like you learn about the different species that attacked um, the city. They're not very smart or well organized, like from what you read in the books, which doesn't make sense considering uh, uh, how they attacked. At first, it all seems like uh, they just entered the city. They were disorganized. But as time went on, they showed uh, signs of intelligence, even using uh, surround tactics and such and such things. The monster that was inside the giant worm, which, a worm, which was basically a nesting ground for those small creatures, it's not connected to the giant, giant worm at all. Why it was inside it makes no sense. Usually the creature that you looked up lives actually in water. It's an aquatic type creature. That uh, lives I know in the you can't seas. see me, but I'm raising my hand. Mm -hmm. What do you mean they show intelligent 
do they show intelligence because they're surrounding people or because they're surrounding people and that shows intelligence? <laughs> Last time I checked, ants do the same thing. Well, it's not just the surrounding part. Like, uh, if you noticed uh, the creature, for instance, when the city light up like a Christmas tree, it was not sim simply getting away or running away. It, it was literally panicking. That means it was sentient and it was realizing what's going on. It realized the fight was not going in its favor and it was scared. So were roaches. Now, I get what he means. In other words, it's, um, I suspect it's more on a line of you, not... You suspect it's more like a survival instinct then? Is that mm. it? Like, for instance, it's, uh, when it was fighting Roderick, it took the sword and it was ready to use it against him. Stuff like that. Like, uh, yeah, not a lot of uh, dumb creatures would realize stuff like that on the fly. Well, it sounds like it sounds like its intelligence is more on the level, like just below wise, you know, dolphins, crows, and stuff. It's like very anyway, high up, but anyway, uh, well, if you know chimpanzees, they use weapons as well. Remember, mm. they craft stuff as well. So yeah, it was basically um, slightly more intelligent, uh, intelligent than you'd expect from such a species. They're not meant to have like any intelligence. So, the thing is, first of all, that thing was not supposed to be inside the giant worm. The two, the two species have nothing in common. The second thing is, this underwater species that was inside the worm, it has no connection to magic and no magical powers. So, what, uh, whatever the fuck changed it, it was uh, definitely not normal. Like, there was definitely some kind of magic in play that somehow, somehow warped and evolved the creature, making it stronger. It was definitely not a normal type of being. Mm. So it's not the original then? Yeah, definitely not. It was changed. And you already know why, because you found a magic item inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. I still want to find out we what did. the heck this is. Do, by the way, didn't tell us I forgot. About... Did, uh, yeah, because, you know, I <laughs> I don't trust you guys yet. Except for that, <laughs> do I... Do we know? You guys Sullivan's? have known each other for a few months. I mean, come on. You fought I know. side by side. Oh, all right. That doesn't enough. mean anything. I thought, yeah. Wow, anyway, you guys are assholes. Wait, wait. You're gonna die. Nah, I'm kidding. But, yeah, do we know? I am confused about this point before. Do we know O'Sullivan's uh, mage? Well, it, he was casting shown? magic. Yeah. No, no, see, I was just pointing my hand at something, and then magically that. <laughs> not magically. Just hey. out of coincidence. You, you mean said, miraculous? Am I pointing you at? said no just, one else just noticed. Just fell over. Well, Sullivan, it's it's the word you're trying to think of is miraculously. <laughs> yeah, but you said no one else noticed. So I'm thinking he used, we? he used telepathy on me. Exactly. Considering I... you guys have hang out yeah, for a you can't see that I used it on you, stupid. <laughs> Considering you guys have known each other for a few months and you've kind of decided to bind together and get the fuck out of here by any means necessary, I'd say that at least you guys have probably learned or he has told you that he is a mage and he has powers and you're like, okay, we'll make sure to keep out a secret so nobody gets in trouble, you know. Mm -hmm. so they okay. ask, how do you do the things you do? And I go, I'm a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> and then Alexander got very pissed off. No, I'm the hero here. <laughs> I'm the hero who pushes it. You can be the hero all you want, but I'm the superhero. <laughs> I thought you were the super villain. I go, I'm the su it's like I'm the I'm the ultimate hero. Yeah. You don't know that yet. <laughs> trap. It's a trap. So yeah, what's up? What do you guys wanna do? Hmm. Or are we in like the same uh room or in different areas of the city? That depends uh, entirely yeah. on you? I think that's up to us, yeah. really. Personally, um, I'm going to be the heroic one here and say, how much money can I get out of this catastrophe? Get out of what? what? How much money can I get out of this event? You know, there's this broken building well, and stuff. I'm right an engineer. Well, right now, considering, considering there's a lot of chaos around the city, like, there's going to be a lot of people in need of repairs and tools and stuff like that, so you can definitely make some money out of this. If you're a cold-hearted bastard, yeah. Hmm. Hey, I'll discount it no. and help other people. Totally I need money to be totally a hero. Said it's going to be heroic. 
So I take it you lost interest in finding out uh, who the guy that shot the arrow is? Okay then. No. <laughs> No, this is just in the time. Everybody else has to do their own things. I don't think we uh, went right away. Keep in mind, away. you cannot do absolutely everything. Like, there's only so many hours in the day time. Like, choose what you want to do carefully and realistically. Oh, wait, we're doing sense. this day by day? Unless... I thought it was over a time period. No, it, it's not a time period. Like I said, it's just been a day since the attack. The, the city has just started recovering. You guys yeah. are still a bit sore from your fights, even though you're at full health, you're still a bit sore, the scars are still still showing. Uh, Especially Willem, who still smells funny. <laughs> <laughs> he smelled funny before, to be honest. <laughs> no, he smells human. Now he just smells funny. Hmm. Then I think I first I go and uh, try stalking O'Sullivan, because I need to find out about this magic artifact. <laughs> but where does he live? I asked you before and nobody had an answer. Well, you said he maybe had a you should ask the guy that lives there. But I asked you before, I found out where the other two lived through my contacts. Then again, I guess a tiny gnome is hard to spot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no clue. I, even I don't know where he lives. There you go, and I'm, <laughs> the, the GM. And I'm the GM. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a random house in the city. A pocket I dimension, not even the gods up. know. <laughs> Uh, how would I get... Oh, so where does O'Sullivan frequent, then? The library. The library. <laughs> well, I would probably know that, so I actually try In to go house. and find you. <laughs> you fucker. No one knows where my house is, though. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. It's pretty bad. <laughs> where was that house that old lady gave me? Oh, no clue. <laughs> it's uh, like, I... where did I meet that old lady? Oh yeah, in front of her house. Where is my house? <laughs> it's just like magic. He he whiffed the roll and forgot where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, um, all right then. If I can't find O'Sullivan on my own, I have to wait for him to come to me, I guess. Um, I think I'd, library. Well, probably, I hmm, I'd probably know that he frequents the library now. Cause he's a nerd. Yeah, fucking yeah. nerd. Fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sullivan, are you at the library? Probably. Don't say probably, probably. say yes or no. <laughs> Here, hold on, I got an idea. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh, are it's you in the a 50 50 chance. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, 2d6. Let's see, 50 50. No, I'm not at the library. So I waste my time. Damn it. No. <laughs> I'm the guy at uh, the library is like, eh, what do you want? Have you ever seen a like woman. a short, like, gnome here? Small person. Beard. Looks slightly menacing. Uh. Mm, I think so. Yeah, recently he bought me, uh, brought me some cool stuff, so I let him borrow some books. Some wow, books. did he do something wrong? I can screw yeah. on him for the right price. Wow, you have no loyalty, do you? Hey, a guy's no, gotta make a living. Does. Don't it's judge. You're the, the one stalking here. him. What are you, a pervert? I'm his friend! <sighs> Some friend you are, if you're stalking him. Hmm. Uh, I'm just That's trying to find out friend. where he is. <laughs> maybe I know, maybe I don't know. And he like makes the give me money sign with his hand. <laughs> <clears throat> now, me and you, we're friends, right? Of course we are. Let's speak frankly with each other, shall we? Just man to man. I'm actually not a man, but okay. Yeah! <laughs> he goes, what? It's a trap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not from uh, your planet. But your point is? Uh, <coughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute, I gotta see, because I'm trying to use the, my skill. I'm using my skills now. Charming and open. Oh, oh shit, I haven't opened the PDF. Jeez. I'm so goddamn charming. Uh-huh. So suave. Like, damn. Can I ask him a different question? Because all these questions give me the wrong answer. 
<laughs> well, it depends on what you want to do. What do you want to do? I basically want to try getting him to tell me if he knows where Sullivan is. Uh, just a sec. What what move are you trying to use? Charming and open. It's a bard uh, skill. Let me look that up. Or hey, you can hey, just... Hey, tell me what I want to know. Okay. <laughs> uh, charming and open. When you speak frankly with someone, you can ask their player a question from the list below. They must answer the truth. Then you may ask a question from the list which you must answer truthfully. No, this is how it works. Uh, 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 you can ask me whatever the... No, wait, it's from the list below. Okay, you can ask me whatever you want. Fuck it. Just yeah. try your luck. Let's because go. if I... I already know what you're going to do. If I ask him, how can I get you to? And he's going to ask for a price. That doesn't help yeah. me. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Uh, so, go ahead. He goes, just man to uh, you. Uh, that's very offensive. Well, I don't You're know your gender. Sure. What? So I don't Why? know your gender. Anyway, <laughs> where I'm can a man, I motherfucker. find? You sure? Anyway, yeah. where Want would I show find you? O'Sullivan? Just answer my question, please. Well, maybe you should draw if you want an answer. Oh wait, <laughs> this is not a roll thing. No, when I speak frankly with someone. <laughs> oh, that's why it's limited to the questions. Well, if you want to ask me a question that's not on the list, then you're gonna have to roll. <clears throat> 2d6 plus charisma. I know, right? I suck. I already I offended him with. I really offended him with the whole. Uh, <laughs> your man thing. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm sorry, man. but. Nah, that's not how it works, mate. Uh, information is uh, power. If you want information, either con either contribute or offer me some compensation for it. That's how the world works. <laughs> they are really nice people too. <laughs> yeah, and they live in the church where they die out of I don't know. Uh, hey, no one dies in the church. Or famine? I don't know. Yeah, I know you live there. there. Like I said, knowledge is power. I know everything about you, Alexander. Bullshit. You don't know me. Oh? <laughs> I know that you started off as a hunter when you came to the city. You flunked like a loser and then you became a craftsman. <laughs> I didn't flunk. I just did not agree with what they were doing. That's all. <clears throat> anyway. So are you gonna pay or are you just gonna waste more of my time? What's up? I'd rather waste more of your time, but that wastes my time too. Uh, I'll go and find someone else. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> uh, I guess I walk out. I'm like, fucking O'Sullivan, you can't find a fucking bastard. Get a cell phone. He's so sneaky. Cell phone. <laughs> Show phone. Show phone. Magic phone. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, what are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, is like my house severely damaged from? Nah, events? since uh, since uh, you were bought off by a noble, your yeah. house is basically in the heart in the city where it's the most protected and everything's fine there. Ah yeah. Mm. You mean your slave I've... quarters? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think how I can be useful since I can shape shift. How can I use this to my advantage to make money? Why are you guys so focused on money anyway? Because extorting the weak and the poor. You guys so are evil. I at least want to just get some <laughs> rich people to pay me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're so evil, and yet you're the guy that wants all the information secretly about them because you don't trust them. <laughs> to be fair, these two are fucking evil. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just an innocent little child. Bullshit. I'm not evil. <laughs> I see you. I see you headbutt a tentacle monster to death. By the way, yeah, wherever you're going around the city, people are still talking about the unknown uh, swordsman who protected the city yesterday. What? There's even talk about rewards and stuff like Does... that. Oh, what? Does, he, he, does he have? Hang on. Is there legends about he has white hair? 
just a sec. Let me double check. If he does, he's a nerd. Um. And does he dress like well, a typical, you know, Victorian era person? No, definitely not. Uh, I was thinking of Terry, somebody else then. How strange. Mm. <laughs> they just said that he's a master swordsman and his blade moves so fast that nobody can even see it. Oh. I bet Roderick would be very interested in this legend, this uh, rumor. Yeah, but Roderick has been very quiet, by the way. Will, what uh, what's Roderick up to? Finding the guy. No, oh, you're interested in finding the guy. Yeah. I'm gonna tag along. <laughs> <laughs> Just to piss him off. Yes. Well, unfortunately, it seems that the guy is not very fond of. Uh, the people's reactions and he seems to be in hiding so they don't bother him like everybody's looking for him like oh they want to meet him they want to thank him and congratulate him and apparently he doesn't like all that attention so right now he's keeping a low profile you're gonna have to find him i can sniff him out do I you know how he to... smells no i don't <laughs> Damn it. yeah I'll start. I'll start trying to find them. So she totally does. She uh, gets everyone. Whoever's talking about <laughs> him the loudest, I'll go up and ask him. Like, have you seen the guy before? Or are you just repeating what other people are saying? Basically, you wanna, you wanna, uh, you want some details on how he looks at least. Yes. Uh, the best you can get from the people is because uh, basically he was moving through the city like lightning and not many could get a good look of him. What they did see is, however, that his blade was uh, very uh, long and slim. Like from their, dis uh, from like their descriptions you can kind of uh, guess. No, it's it was curved. So from what you can gather from their information, you okay. can guess that it's kind of an eastern type weapon. Probably something like a katana. Uh, and, I thought it sounded uh, like a saber. Mm, right. Whatever, like uh, like I said, from uh, from what they explained, he just kind of deducts that it's sort of like a katana or something similar to that, an eastern type weapon. And uh, what they know about him, like time? his uh, his body was uh, covered, like he was wearing some kind of uh, rags and such to cover his uh, pretty much entire body. So they didn't see his clothes or his face, his hair, nothing, not much. All right, that's but, not uh, very it helpful. It seemed that when he uh, when he got close, uh, monsters were instinctively getting uh, uh, nervous and uh, were freaking out. So you'd uh, you'd assume that he had a very powerful aura to him. Ugh. God, now I need to go sit down and focus on that. Try to focus yeah. on the powerful aura. Why do you have to sit down and focus? <sighs> because I haven't trained it as much as I don't know the guy that gave me the power to do this. Oh, that guy. I don't want to meet that guy again. Get out just... of your bum and look for the guy. Don't just sit down and focus on your stupid aura. I don't tell you this. I just sit oh. down. God. I don't assume. No, so yeah, Roger just you. sits down. I don't... Okay. So Make a 2d6 will. Um, 2d6 plus will. Assumptions are bad, okay. Mm hmm <laughs> Aren't they, Ash? <laughs> mm. Yay! Even with that negative one, it's a ten. Good job! So, from uh, you shut off the rest of the world and focus on your mind. You clear your mind of all thoughts and just focus on the energy around you. You start to feel the city like burning lights going left and right, you start to feel like a few presences stand out. But the one that stands out the most is actually the one that's the weirdest. Because uh, while other people like have different strengths in their aura, like their, uh, literally their mental fortitude is different, there is one person that moves around the city and he is like a ghost. He has absolutely no presence. He, it's like he's not even there. Well, let's go find that guy. <laughs> so Roger just gonna, is gonna stand up, open it, like open his eyes and stand up, and then just start walking in the direction where he's feeling that. Hey, presence. wait up! <laughs> no, I don't wait up. So Roderick's so mean. 
darling. <laughs> Roderick, don't get along with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> you just imagine the little legs trying to keep up. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go find that ghost. After a while, you uh, go into uh, go into the main marketplace, but you realize that the presence is not there. It just passed through there, so you keep following the footsteps, like in your mind, where you feel it went. After a while, you go to the site where there's a few side streets, and you eventually find the presence. There's uh, some guy in rags that's li uh, that's uh, sitting. Um, in one of the alleyways with his back against the wall and he's just eating uh, some kind of uh, fruit. So cool. Quietly. And Roger just like goes up to him and says, Oh, I found you. Eh? <laughs> the guy looks up from his fruit uh, uh, a little bit. You can't quite make up his face because he's still covered in darkness in the alleyway and uh, he, since he's still got the rocks over him, he's like, um, Excuse me? He looks confused. Out of all the people in the city, and all their presences, you have none. Why is that? Uh, he scratches his head. Oh, is that what lured you to me? You couldn't sense me? Interesting. Huh, I didn't think there was anyone in the city that could sense Auras. Can you teach me how to do that? I, I'm just ignoring her all this time. Hey there, little girl. Want some candy? <laughs> Why does everyone offer me candy? I accept it. <laughs> he reaches into his pocket and takes out a few treats so he can give them to you. I love how you're defiant and you say, I take it. <laughs> Don't take sweets from strangers. Uh, after giving the candy good. to Tali, he looks up at you, Roderick, and uh, just says, Well, you found me. Can I help you with something? Are you the one that saved the others? Uh, I haven't been saving anybody. No idea what you mean. You I... Excuse me? That wasn't very nice. He looks offended a little bit. <laughs> Fine. Gets hurt so easily. No, oh, like, yeah, like he's like, let's come out of the shadows where I can see you, so we can talk better. I'm sorry, but I like it here. It's quite comfy, actually, and I'm just uh, eating my fruit. I don't like this guy. <laughs> too bad. Oh my god. Be this, be nicer. Kid. Wait, this... you don't like him? He's the one being social. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like social people. <laughs> or children. <laughs> or especially children. I hate you, you racist. No, I just don't hate- I hate everybody. <laughs> yeah, so, um... He's like, fine. What's your name? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. I don't mean to be rude, but... I am not supposed to share that. Can you tell me? Oh. I'm sorry. He, he he tries to pat you, Tali, if you let him. Fine. <laughs> he I'm pats you gently on the head. I'm sorry. I really can't say that. Please take no offense in it. He, he, quickly, he quickly finishes uh, his uh, meal and uh, gets back up, dusting the ropes off from what, where he was sitting. Well, uh, Does he have a weapon on them? On them? Yes, yeah. on, on the side, under his ropes, you see that he has a katana. <laughs> that guy, yeah, it's that guy. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that's not the only katana in the fucking city. It but since you're is. very versed with weapons, you can see that that's one hell of a fucking katana. Like, it's definitely seen many years of use, but yet it's in pristine condition. Are you sure it's not a shimatar because shimatars are curved and katanas aren't? Katanas are also curved. Uh, like, Some of they them. have curved swords. Who made that, <laughs> who made that sword? Uh, do you ask him who made that sword? Yeah, of course. Oh, it still this looks really nice. Yeah. Well, I uh, made it myself actually. Uh, he takes it out uh, and uh, pulls it out of his uh, uh, scabbard, holding it with both hands so you can Fire. examine it. He looks very proud by his masterwork. And it's a masterwork. He's <laughs> no. a liar. Don't listen to him. 
He just <laughs> uh, he just looks very proud. Like this is his masterwork. It seems like a normal sword to you, like nothing special. But it's like I said, it, even though it's seen a lot of views, it seems like it's been oh, maintained properly way, and it's uh, in very good condition. Can I try to discern realities here, so I can ask a cute couple of questions? Sure. All right. Hold on, I have a question. What is that? Is that a wisdom thing or is that? Oh, uh, you have a question? Yes, I yes. have a question. I'm, I'm no, I do. Fine. Uh, I'm not there, but this is out of character. Did you just call it a shimitar? No, she wants it to be a scimitar. Oh, Probably. she did. No, no, no. She said Hang on. scimitar. <laughs> really? That's, that's I don't child, know how to like, pronounce innocence. some words, okay? Yeah, she's only Scimitar. a child. Leave her alone. God. <laughs> Take candy and get out of here. <laughs> You're the one who wants my candy. It's true. but that's That sounds that dirty. That's also going in the book. You're the one so, who no, that does not sound, sound dirty. Candy. That so, Roderick, like something uh, why do you want to discern the realities uh, in this situation? Do you know the questions? What would you wish to ask anyway? I'm kind of confused. Man, this sounds like something I should put on out of context D and D quotes. <laughs> uh, you want my candy? <laughs> Suck on my chocolate balls. I swear to God. <sighs> so yeah, Roderick, you chocolate wanted to discern balls. realities. Are you sure? Do you know the questions <laughs> with discern the realities? Huh? Oh, uh, I. You typed to. <laughs> questions in roll 20. Bless so you. Yeah, I can look at them. Okay, so, questions. okay then, if you want to discern realities, that's uh, 2d6 plus wisdom. Okay, then that's. that's can do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <gasps> it's a trap! <laughs> nope, uh... I was that. <laughs> okay. Wow. Failed. After he shows you off the sword, he puts it back in his cupboard. Is Alex still looking for me? Okay. So, I'll just, Most like, likely. say, I'll just move out of the way then if he's gonna leave and say, it, no, just move out of the way and narrow my eyes behind my helmet. I'm gonna keep an eye out on this guy. <laughs> uh, he says, well, good day to you both. He bows politely and leaves. Hi, stranger. Hope you keep my eyes on you. <laughs> he just laughs Happy. awkwardly. What a weird <laughs> bunch. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go and hmm, what could I do that could give me money? Like that could help. I'm gonna turn dance, to Roger with could the thumbs give you up. Money? You could dance oh. in the streets. <laughs> I could dance in the streets, but I'm not gonna go do that. Um, hey, Roger. I caught his scent. I can sniff him out whenever I want to. Um, he won't escape us. I just... Are you following his scent right now, by the way? I, I know his scent, though. But are you, try, are, you uh, are you smelling it right now? Like, are you paying attention to it? Yes. Well, as you're paying attention to him, as soon as you see him... he has no scent. He's walking, he's walking off, and as soon as he turns the corner, his scent disappears for a moment, like when oh. he's out of sight. And when you realize, you smell him a couple of kilometers away. Yep. How do you do that? Uh, I'm gonna go help with the rebuilding then, or help the guard out if they need any help. Well, no. yeah, they can use all the help they can get, but that's not something you're gonna get paid for. Ah. Uh. It doesn't matter. I'm. I have to defend those weaker than me. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm going to be doing I wanted doing to right get now. paid. Too bad. <laughs> Do they need muscle? Like Slaves don't get paid. That is true. <laughs> that's the <laughs> definition of a slave. <laughs> mm. I wasn't yeah. originally a slave. Well, you're a slave I know, you now. were quite noble, but still. I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah. From <laughs> riches to rags, poor Tali. <laughs> For Roderick being a good guy, he doesn't like Tally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, right? He's so mean to me. Mm, I, I guess he still Christ hasn't let it go after you made that comment in Skype. <laughs> Someone holds grudges. Speaking that, that of which, we still haven't saying. discussed your guys' mm -hmm. bonds. You were supposed to do that. <laughs> That was one of my bonds. 
Okay, okay, good. Anyway, I hope you guys have done them. Anyway, what are you guys gonna do next? Wait, I have something for when he says, I have his scent. I'm like, what? This is my face! <laughs> what? <laughs> Face when she says that. <laughs> oh. Wow. It's oh. gonna leave. Anyway, Ash, is that how you're gonna spend your day? You're just gonna stalk around looking for Sullivan? Ash. No, I'm not. <laughs> Since I can't find him, I guess I'll go to the next highest house. power. And I actually can so in Christopher house. about it. About what? About the whole gem deal. Gem deal? You mean the gem you got? Yeah. Uh, okay, what do you wanna They're talk with, with him about? I, I basically go up to him and I go, Wait a minute, where is he? Well, he's uh, in the where the festival was held. Right now he's directing traffic, making sure that the crime scene is inspected properly and renovations are going along smoothly. He's basically okay. pretty busy. But uh, since you're friends, he finds some time for you. I've got a great thing as I walk up to you. Him. Don't tell the GM to hang on, by the way. Shh. Hang on. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I got. Uh, as I walk up to him, I go. <laughs> it's like, huh? From captain of a guard down to traffic warden. Didn't I did him to do that uh, hard? Uh, he looks a little uh, stressed right now. He he doesn't even smile. Alex, I'm kind of busy right now. If you came here to make small talk, now is really not the time. Hmm, yeah, I tried making you smile. Shame. But it's not that important if you really need to get working. I just need to know if you know anybody who could, uh, look into magical artifacts. Magical you artifacts? Know. Uh, I guess, uh, considering what happened to his granddaughter, I guess you can go to the, I don't know, head mage about Hocus Pocus stuff? I guess. I just hope you won't, you know. Take it away or something. What? What are you talking about? Hmm? He looks confused. What? Are the rules more relaxed for magic users in this city? I noticed. Of course not. What are you talking about? The only reason that old geezers are out in here is because he's the one that's in charge of maintaining our defenses. What about magic out of packs then? That's what I thought. Dude, he's the one recharging them, remember? Jesus, you have a terrible memory, friend. What's wrong with you? I don't Did really someone use... knock you like silly yesterday? Oh no, I didn't get whacked by tentacles, a giant worm, and a few hundred monsters. No, I'm totally fine. Hey, dude, I don't want to know your, about your sex life, okay? Let's keep it <sighs> out of out of there, okay? At least you got your sense of humor back suddenly. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave here, you to here it. He relaxed a little bit after you exchanged some words. Mm. I, I hate you smiles. That, that was my intention. As you said, he looked uh -huh. stressed, so I wanted to free up some stress of him. He's a friend. But that being said, yeah, if I can... He probably tells me how I can get in contact with him. So I don't oh, think yeah, it's definitely. as easy as walking like, up to his fucking uh, Honestly, door. it's not very hard to guess. <laughs> Basically, in the Nobles District, there's a place that's constantly under uh, lock and key, and there's a lot of guards. That's basically the Mage Tower. Or oh. the Mage Tower, so... I would send out so much in the Noble District. You would what? <laughs> I said I'd stand up. S I would stand out so much in the Noble District. True, but it's not like you're forbidden from going there, so. Oh wow, so much different from my city. Ah, so much more relaxed. Thieves must have a freaking great time here. <laughs> Well, usually people don't go there without purpose, because if you just go there to hang out, you're gonna have trouble with the guards, but... Nah. Like, since you're uh, friends with Christopher, he just, like, informs some of the guys, like, yeah, let him pass, he's got some business, so it's fine. I know he looks like a fucking scruffy little thief, but he's he's really a good guy, just don't worry about it. <laughs> so yeah, I take it you go to see the mage? Yes. Uh, some guards that uh, haven't really heard what's up from Christopher yet or anything because they haven't had a chance to speak like stop you and are like hey where the fuck are you going? Uh, to go and see the mage. Uh, need to speak to him. He, he just assumes fuck? that Christopher talked to him. Why the fuck would we let you go in there? 
because I have permission? Permission? What the fuck are you talking about? To uh, Christopher, he, he said I could come. You haven't got word yet? They start laughing. Captain of the guard told you you can go in there. Are you fucking mad? You think I'm gonna buy that? He, uh, you said you look kind of scruffy and stuff like Get the fuck out of here, poor kid. Before I whack you on the head with my shtick. He like ah. points to one of his buttons on the side. For non-lethal takedowns. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh <-huh. laughs> he just looks at it and goes, I'll show you stick. And he starts walking off. It's like, go away until somebody comes along and tells them. Great. Actually, since I'm here, and I have to hang out for a while until they get word, are there any shops in the Noble District? Or is it just housing? Yes, but uh, honestly, just looking at them, you're gonna get very depressed when you see the price tags. <laughs> I window shop, and I purposely see if I get depressed. Yep. Uh, Too bad. You what can't is it? It's like a brand new oh. hammer, gold encrusted and shit. It's like well, millions. considering uh, you you decided to be boring, cannot try to sneak in or anything cool like that or lie or anything. Yeah. You wait a few hours. Eventually, the guards learn learn about what's up and they will let you back in. But why? <laughs> why would I suddenly decide to sneak in when I already because have you're a gamer and, you sh and you're supposed to think <laughs> like a gamer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. Sneak in my ass. <laughs> because it's more fun like that. How? It's a wizard's. Uh, it's like locked under. I, my first inclination, I uh, gotta sneak in. Well, yeah. You could have uh, surveyed the area, see an opening, but nope, you decided to be boring. Okay, there you go. A few hours pass, you lose a lot of time, and finally <laughs> they're gonna let you in. Do you want me to sneak in? Just so you have something? Too late. Fine. Alright, I head on in. Okay then. Right. What's it like? Let's see. <laughs> Just a sec. Um, basically, it's the kind of mumbo jumbo you'd expect. Like you've been in a city of uh, engineering. Like you see that uh, the sign, the brilliant minds, like are very messy and there's chaos in their workshops. This is pretty much the same thing. Only this time it's uh, magic, magic stuff lying around everywhere. When you climb to the top. You manage to find like um, the the wizard. He's in his study. Like you can see almost the entire city from up here. Whoa! Uh, so when it's you walk like in, ordered chaos. Then when you walk in, like uh, you see the wizard guy, and he just stares at you, and he's suddenly like, me? Mm -mm. He makes a weird cat noise. Uh. Hello. <laughs> uh, you you may not know me, but uh, I was just hoping to take up a bit of your time, if you would allow it. Yes. Wow. Uh, are you okay? Uh, suddenly you see him jerk around like he's having a seizure, and his uh, cat flops down like it's sleeping, and he says, "Ah, uh, uh, sorry, I was having a." Out of body experience. Um, yeah. Uh, What's up? Uh, uh, <laughs> magic strange. Uh, hmm? what was that? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh, the no. Uh, my, no, my hearing's not as good as it used to be. Well, do an uh, old man I... voice. I can't. You're gonna try. Just my believe in hearing's yourself. not as good as it used to be. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want? What you doing in here? How the guys? How the guards at you in here? Ah, now that is a question they I just walked in. I ha I have permission to be here. Oh, I, I... oh, so I take it uh, you're on an important quest sent here. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not issuing quests right now, and I don't have rewards. Quests? What? Uh, no, I'm... <laughs> uh, this guy's confusing. Uh, I just came here for some uh, magical advice, if you... Oh, now I see he looks at you cunningly. I see. So you heard about my research and are here to steal it. Aha, uh -huh. I'm sorry, but you're already too late. You cannot steal it from me. I've already put a patent on it. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, wait, a patent on what? <laughs> yes, my, uh, my special type of magic. Like, 
Have you seen those strange uh, women that come from other worlds? That uh, are all furry and stuff? I hate that stuff. So I've been experimenting to find a way to transmutate a woman into only having cat ears and a cat tail. Because that's way more awesome without all the extra hair. <laughs> I see. So, uh... <laughs> I, m m I'm almost at the breakthrough, as you saw earlier. I'm making progress. Haha. <laughs> Oh dear, I had to get the old pervert man of my own heart, but right now that's not important. <laughs> uh, maybe we could share notes on that magic later, though. Yeah. I'm sure I could help you. Oh? Are you a practitioner of the arts? Huh. Uh, kind of. Not really. Hmm. What's gonna be? Do, do you wish to gouge your... Um... Aptitude against me? Uh, no, I would lose. No, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I take it you're not very good then. Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. Shame. Not by my own fruition. If I had a choice in the matter, I would be one of the greatest mages of all time. But oh, sadly, such I'm confidence, not. you whippersnapper. A liar. <laughs> <laughs> so then. What do you wish? Uh, the cat, uh, by this point, uh, shakes his head that it's coming around and jumps uh, out of the seat and he takes a seat. So then, I what business do you have well here? That Speak cat quickly. Is actually, the mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> We're all along. Yeah, he's gonna reach into his back coat pocket, take out a little pouch, and get the crystal and go, I need your opinion on this. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's a Let ball! Let me see. He he reaches out oh, shit, to he take the, the he reaches out to take the shard from you. Do yeah, you let him have over. it? Of course. He's. What am I gonna do if I hold it? He takes the shard and he tinkers with it for a second. He you see some magic running through his fingers as he is uh, examining it. Like you can tell, like it's kind of easy. He's obviously studying its structure since he's examining what that crystal is capable of. I mean, not crystal shard. He goes, hmm, hmm, huh? <laughs> Suddenly you see his face uh, getting all serious for a moment and he completely shut up, shuts up, focusing on the crystal in, in his hand. Finally, all so of a sudden, turned... you see, okay. all of a sudden, you see his, uh, his serious face start to turn into worry. Until eventually, he says, oh no, 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 no. He, he lets it go and tries to get out of his seat to run away. But it's too late. Suddenly, the entire top floor is engulfed in what seems like a, an explosion. Like, literally all your senses go ape shit. What? So, an explosion! Congratulations, suddenly, you just killed the mage. Suddenly, all, uh, the, other, the other guys that are not there feel the same thing. There's literally a bomb goes off in their heads and they lose all sense of their, uh, all sense of their uh, uh, surroundings. Ah. I'm like, sorry, guys. Ash, uh, I mean, Alexander at least uh, like had some kind of warning that something was not going right. But you guys were caught completely off guard. Like, it doesn't matter what you were doing. Poof! I'm Suddenly, just it's like someone I'm hit you on the back house, of your head. Just going like, huh. I wonder if anyone says, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make a giant tree and lay in it. So, <laughs> us... Uh... As, you, as all of you have no fucking idea what's going on right now, uh, your heads are slowly starting to clear up. And you realize you were, wherever you were, you're Great, not there anymore. What? <laughs> Thanks, Ash. I was gonna go buy something. <laughs> all of you are suddenly floating in a black chasm, surrounded by nothingness. And you see some <laughs> kind of weird creature forming up in front of you. Oh, I thought it was gonna be below us. Just a sec. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna get eaten like Roderick did. Uh, you see this uh, creature in front of you. So spooks. That's great. He looks. Uh, he looks at you for a while, studying you. Hmm. So. You're the ones that found my shard. Shard? Wait, out of that character, this is the shard that we took from that giant tentacle monster. Why well, I took and never oh, told you about. Have you told them about it? 
<laughs> I, I never told you about it because I thought about getting it identified before sharing with, with information with you. What shard, creature? Yes. <laughs> Alex yes. pulls down his cap a little so he hides his yeah. eyes. You suddenly the creature burst out, uh, bursts out into laughter. Oh ho ho, he didn't even tell you. Naughty naughty. Uh, you oh, see the creature pointing at Alexander, who apparently has some yeah. explaining to do. What did you do? I Crap didn't do stuff. anything! <laughs> All I found is something on one of the monsters. You guys took things too! And you didn't tell us? You know, neither of you discussed about taking some teeth and stuff. I thought this was the same thing. I thought it was just leftover residue from that magic monster thing. And teeth is magical! What did you do with it? A teeth isn't magical. A tooth. What did How... you do with it? I took it to somebody who I thought could help identify what it was. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good. Okay, um, as he's saying that, I'm just gonna look back at the monster and like, or whatever this thing is, and like, why are we here? <laughs> you awoke me, naturally. And what does that mean? Hmm. He looks at you uh, uh, in a puzzling uh, way with his smile not fading. You're making this so hard for me not to not to be like Lipso, because <laughs> the only response for Lipso in this in this turn of events would be like, "We were responding to your wake-up call." <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> God. Uh... <laughs> It's if you uh, don't it. mind me asking, uh, who are you exactly? Wait, me? You? Oh, right, I haven't introduced myself. Sorry, I was just so amused by your interactions that I couldn't help myself. I am a myth spout weaver. Lore. I spout lore! <laughs> spout lore? Okay. <laughs> what the heck is a myth just, weaver? You did really well, <laughs> so you know everything <laughs> about <laughs> Wow. Okay, so let's see. Okay. On a 10 plus, the GM will tell you something interesting and useful about the subject relevant to your situation. Like why wait okay. here would be good. Uh, okay, Lipso, I mean, uh, O'Sullivan. <laughs> right. You're gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> O'Sullivan, you know where you are right now. The world you're uh, in right now is um, something like uh, where uh, Roderick was when he was about to die, like death was taking him to the beyond. He was not in the world of the living or the world of the dead. This is a world similar to that, yet different. You're in a place that exists outside of time, in a different reality, that's uh, held together by powerful magic. The I creature would know. in front of you, though you're not sure about uh, exactly what it is you know that the, the power it holds is like uh, like you cannot fucking measure its power like it's it's on an entirely different level than from simply measuring this is the, the this is a immortal being with immense power that can basically will everything it wants into existence it's pretty much the definition of a god is it true god scary <laughs> is it truth Yes, yes. Truth. It's gonna take where your arm and your my, leg. Where's my gateway? <laughs> <laughs> You're basically trapped in the dimension of this being. Everything Help here on. is under its control. Mm. But I Are know, you explaining like, this? Like this? Well, uh, if unless you say that you're keeping it a secret, I'm, I'll just assume that you guys sh always share this information right, between cool. when you find out something. A Are you keeping it a secret? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh my god. Yay. <laughs> so evil. No, hang on, hang on. That, no, I mean, this might be similar to what I experienced. So I, what I know what this kind of place is, if, since I experienced uh, it, but I not like, remember Like it. I said, uh, I don't know if we ever went over it, if I ever remember, like, my experience in that. Oh, you, you do remember what it was like when death visited you, yes. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Also, you notice something else. Uh, once Lipso becomes uh, aware of the surroundings, even though he doesn't share anything uh, about the world around you, since he becomes aware, you started to see that the world around you has changed and it's starting to take shape, but you don't know why yet. Only Lipso knows why. The more you learn about what's Lipso. going on here, the more you see. 
It's Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan. Right, yeah. since, Sorry. Right, so, Alexander... uh, something else happens with the world. Like, well, like I said, it was like a dark abyss, but now it's starting to take shape. You see stars everywhere around you, like you're in, like you're in space. And uh, above your heads, you see uh, many small silver-like strings attached to you. Like your hey, puppets. I know, puppet. I but uh, here's the thing, gonna... they're not controlling you, they're just staying there. You have no idea where you're, where they're going, you can't see that far. But they're all attached to you. I wanna ask, like, what are these things? Why is no. there no gate? Gate? Hmm? Oh, gate Last... where? Where do you wish to go, Roderick? Back to where I was? Hmm. Back to where I I'm was. I'm not dead yet. Oh? No, you're not. Not indeed. <laughs> Even though you should be. What? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, I see, I see. It's not just a few secrets you keep between yourself. Hmm, this should be quite interesting. Hmm, you said hmm. uh, you were a fate weaver. Uh, seems kind of ominous, though. You don't seem... Like he, he d it doesn't finish, but he's basically implying you don't seem Yeah, bad, I know what you're implying. He says, yeah. oh, do tell. How do you see me? Well, you mean physically? What do I look like through your eyes? You seem Shadow to be some Lord sort Spooky. of shadowly being with claws as ominous as what I've seen <laughs> on beasts. You burst into laughter. I see, He's so that's how to you say see. You're spooky. <laughs> the way my uh, my uh, existence works is the more you know about my world, the more you see it through its true eyes. Right now, you know almost nothing. That's why you see almost nothing. I'm glad to see you're a happy person, though. <laughs> yes, well, I take uh, pleasure in the simple things. I'm actually just fucking so glad that he, this guy doesn't seem intent on murdering them. <laughs> uh, so, you said before that you were woken up. That wouldn't be because of uh, me, right? Oh yes, it was definitely because of you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Oh? Alex, I'm gonna kill you. Mm, he looks at you puzzlingly. And why do you wish to do that? Left my oven on. <laughs> he he reaches out towards the strings above your head and touches them for a second. No, you okay. didn't. What are you doing? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? He lets go of the strings. I'm a fate weaver after all. What do you think I weave? Death? Ah, so that's Eight. kind of disappointing. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have any tapestries here? I bet they'd look lovely. <laughs> he laughs at you. Sorry, but I have no use for material things here. By the way, Alex is looking a bit disappointed. Oh, what's wrong, Alex? Uh, just uh, <laughs> no need to be rude, but kind of disappointed there is such a thing as fate. <laughs> He continues oh. to laugh and doesn't say Fate anything. Fate is what you make it. Not something for... something to decide. Wouldn't that make us all Fate Weavers then? <laughs> as charming as this conversation is, I think I've uh, you've had your fair share of uh, your first experience here. I doubt your bodies will be able to hold out much longer if you stay here. So... Let me again. Hmm... Should I send you back home? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, he yes. puts uh, he puts one of his fingers uh, to his uh, uh, to his smile and starts uh, tick 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 on his teeth. Hmm, hmm. What should I do with you? I wonder. Hmm. Wait, do you, you wish to go back anywhere? home? Huh. What did you send say? Send us places. Like oh? anywhere. I don't think he's a taxi service. <laughs> <laughs> his smile gets bigger. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Who knows? So, you could send us to our real home, if you were so inclined? I can, if I wanted to. 
Well, I, well, I did wake you up. Hmm. Yeah, most yeah. people are grumpy when you wake them up. Not thankful. <laughs> <laughs> you could send us anywhere, then. I can. And send me back to the surface. Hmm. You see him scratching his head, his smile not uh, uh, not twitching for a second. Hmm, I don't think so. Surface of a lake of lava! Done! <laughs> you can yeah. see the creatures having a lot of fun, like, uh, toying with you guys. Actually, I think he's right. Just send us back to the underground. I ain't done there anyway. Oh... What do you have to do there, Alex? <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do? Cause more <laughs> trouble for me. That's what he's You're the fate do. weaver, right? I have big Just plans. Just because I weave fate doesn't mean that I can read into the future. Or maybe I can. Who Wait. knows? Can you read? You can see the past, then, right? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. This is my fate. Uh, <laughs> nobody knows. No, 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 no. I'm gonna ask. Did the scourge end then? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> no time for games. Creature. Oh, I'm sorry. How's about we get down to business then? Business? Roderick's fish just clench. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Pick a fight with the great being who can trap us anywhere he wants to. Uh, You're kind of already flies in a trap. <laughs> to be so, honest, Alex uh, isn't right, guys, this time. So I have punched the spider as he bites you. <laughs> so as you guys quiet down after he says that, he says... Uh, you found one of my shards. Good job, good job. From what I can tell from what you've been through, I expect it was inside a creature that was corrupted by it. Interesting. You want to be a hero, don't you, Alexander? <laughs> then why don't I give you a task worthy of a hero? Oh? Does this mean I'm going to have to join him on this? Of course not. Unless you want to die. Here, with me. Damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't worry. I I'm sure a mage like you would be tempted by what I have to offer. <laughs> Even in After all, I think isn't I'm it chaos you, you want to spread? Or am I mistaken? Maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> I don't want to spread chaos. I want to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. He, he turns back to Alex. The shard you found is one of many. Unfortunately, the artifact that was uh, originally a sphere-like object was shattered a long time ago. And those pieces hold something that belongs to me. I need you to recover those shards for me. Hmm. Uh, I don't like and this! And if I do? Then? You said you had an offer. I shall reward you, however you wish. Ah. Oh, that gets my attention. I won't hurt Such candy. A... Uh, you Such see him continue. Character. You saw what happened to that creature when it had a shard inside it. It went corrupt. It went mad. It was strong. It attacked innocent people. Shouldn't you, as a hero, take care of this problem? Yes, I suppose you're right. And if I am rewarded in the process, I suppose that's that. Can you what change fates that have already come to pass? He he grins. Uh, his grin gets even bigger, which somehow seems impossible. But honestly, with this creature, it's hard to tell what's impossible for him. He just quietly stares at you for a while, Roderick. Do this for me, and I'll scratch your back too. Very well. If you can change the the fates of those, he just stops. I will find those shards. Good, good. What about you, Tali? Don't you wish to go back to your own world? It's Talila! Talila. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he laughs. Talila. I'm sorry, I forgot to offer you candy. No, give me the, her candy. <laughs> Fulfill that bond, apparently. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about you, Sullivan? Aren't you interested in ancient powerful magic? While the shards are being collected, you can take advantage of them however you wish. Right now, I just want her candy. <laughs> <laughs> he waves his hand and candy uh, miraculously materializes in front of you guys. Not all of us? <laughs> yeah. Enjoy, enjoy. My loot! Wait, wait, wait. Am I stuck in one place or can I like swim over to, to Leo? Oh, definitely. You can swim over and take it. I, I swim over and I take it. My candy! <laughs> None for you! Aww. Such a lively <sighs> punch. <laughs> That Fun being said, <laughs> I'm going to look forward Bill. to coming back. I'm going to be looking forward to being to see your face. Oh, fallen for me already, have you? What a naughty <laughs> boy. You piqued my interest. This is going to be an exciting <laughs> adventure. Maybe next time I'll have a surprise, especially for you, Alex. <laughs> Grown. Uh, well, thank you. He's gonna pull down his cap. That being said, you said I we had limited time here, right? So, do you mm. have any hints for us where we may be able to find your shards? No need. The shards will point you to where you need to go. The the uh, the artifact itself knows it's broken and wishes to put itself back together. Once you have a piece of it, you'll be able to find the rest really quick. I just don't think this is a good idea, but whatever. <laughs> I, have a que I also have a question. What do you mean by he's supposed to be dead? <laughs> oh? Well, why, why don't I just leave the explaining to him? It's gonna be way more fun that way. <laughs> as, you, as he laughs about it, you're, uh, you're uh, reminded of uh, what uh, Alexander said a moment ago. Like questioning why is there time limited here. You start hearing noises and creature, creatures from the darkness that you can't make out start making their way towards you. Like uh, they they obviously have malice in them and want to attack you. Hmm. Yes, I guess it's time for you guys to go now. As one of the creatures starts getting too close, unfortunately, uh, considering this is your first time like swimming around, you're not confident how the fuck you can defend yourself properly, so you see him just reach out with his hand. The creature has also strings attached to uh, its body, just like you. You see his uh, finger, which is surprisingly sharp, move through the strings like butter, and when it cuts them off, the creature simply disappears. Like there's nothing left of it. Like it's never even, like it was never even there, it never existed. Scary power. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. He waves his hand. I look forward to seeing the results of your hard labor. <laughs> your heads uh, go completely numb again. And when uh, when everything returns to normal, you are back where you originally were. All of you. No matter where you were. You're oh back. no, my quiche! <laughs> also, uh, also S Sullivan, the candy that you are holding on to, now it's completely gone. Yeah. You get rid of its fate. Whoa. I so... think we're gonna have to pause there for now. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's take a break then. <laughs>